build a great stock, you need to develop deep, rich flavor. And the best way to do that with a seafood stock is to roast the shells. I've got crab shells, I've got shrimp shells, and lobster shells. I've part cooked them, took all the meat out. I'm gonna place them in this roasting pan. You know, you could cut them, but just go ahead with your hands, break them up, start with the shrimp. And now my crab shells, which are pretty small. Maybe this one here. And now our lobster shells. Now, the head of the lobster here has a lot of amazing flavor, so super important. Rip out the little legs. And then for the head, once again, you could use a knife, but really, you just kind of break it down. These shells look good. Just pop it in the oven. Let those roast up. And while that's in the oven, we're gonna get started on the other flavors of my stock. So turn that on high and add in a little bit of canola oil. I'm gonna start by adding some carrots, onion, celery, good pinch of peppercorns, some garlic, five, six cloves. Let them roast up just a little bit, release all that flavor, and then we're gonna add our tomato paste. Drop it in there. Make sure it coats all my vegetables. The veggies are looking good. Cut the heat and just set it aside for now. I can smell the shells. I think they're ready. Now, I'm just gonna turn the heat here a little bit, put that to high, and I'm gonna deglaze the bottom of the pan with a little white wine. Scrape the bottom, make sure I get all that flavor, and now, shells right into my stock pot. Ooh, it's hot. We've got our veggies, we've got our shells, and now it's time to add some herbs. I've got some thyme, rosemary, chives, uh, a bit of parsley, nice big handful. Just kind of tear it up, pop it right in there, right on top, a couple bay leaves, and then I just fill it up with some water. And now the secret here is to kind of let it go. I don't want to stir the shells or get in there. The more I touch it, the cloudier my stock is going to be, and a cloudy stock is never good. My heat's on high. I'm going to bring it right before boiling point. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'm just going to let it simmer for about an hour, an hour and a half, and we'll have the perfect stock. All right, stock looks ready. Smells good. The work has pretty much been done. All I want to do is strain this out. You know, all this liquid is full of flavor. So make sure you drain out all the shells. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Strain it all out. And get a little messy. Pour it right back in. As you can see, nothing left. Just that pure seafood flavor. My stock is finished. I have some here that I made earlier. <whistles> Smells amazing. Now you know how to make the perfect seafood stock. Don't keep it a secret.